One of the benefits of our program is that the students not only learn about cybersecurity, but they learn about technology in general, as well as networking. So there's many different areas they can go into. I very much enjoy knowing that I'm going to get to know first name basis and understand my students. The, the availability of, of students coming to me outside of class hours, outside of time, gives you that opportunity to, to have that extra connection and, and be able to build on more than just feeling like, here, I'm supposed to give you a list of things to memorize, I'm actually a chance to impact and help grow people as opposed to just teach students. We're a small school, and a lot of students seek out a small school. They're interested in the relationship they'll have with their professors. I know all my students by name. If I see them in the hallway, I know what they're doing, what internships they have. The biggest thing that I take away from Indiana Tech is just the um, you know, wonderful community that it brings and the relationships that I created with Indiana Tech. The faculty that I met and became friends with over the years of being at Tech really helped me shape my career and helped me become the person that I am today and that probably is the biggest thing that I would suggest anyone who comes to Tech is that you need to really make friends with the faculty. That'll really help you later on in life. My advisor, he is amazing. He has worked hands-on in cybersecurity, and he gave me a lot of tips, and he helps me um, with any questions I ask, or he, you know, gives me references to employers that he knows. The cybersecurity program at Indiana Tech is very unique. There are several areas of concentration which most universities don't include. We have many courses in criminal justice that the students take so that they become familiar with the way criminals behave, why they do things. Uh, they understand how evidence is used in court and what needs to be done so that they handle it properly. Uh, since I was recently a student, I'm able to kind of bring back the parts of being a student that I know they want to see. For example, I try to reinforce the real world examples, what they're gonna see once they graduate, what they may see in an internship or at a part-time job that they're currently working even now, and how their classes are directly impacting that as well as potentially growing them. Uh, it's been an awesome experience to be able to impart lessons on students and have them come back in two or three weeks and say, hey, you taught us X, Y, and Z at this one particular class and I just used that yesterday at my internship or job. It's really rewarding to see that sort of a response from students. At Indiana Tech, we have some unique equipment and tools that the students use for hands-on investigations and learning. One of those is the forensic stations called FRED. Those are the actual equipment that is used by FBI and other forensics labs. We also have software suites that are the same uh, software that is used by forensic investigators. So the students get hands-on experience using real equipment and real tools. So the coolest thing that I actually liked about that class and uh, that really helped me decide what I wanted to do was actually a project we did during the middle of it where there was a heat sensor program that we had on a cell phone and it actually detects heat signatures that you leave on uh, pin pads when you use your credit card, your debit card, anything like that. One of the things outside the classroom that the students can become involved with is the Cyber Defense Club. This is a club that students join and they are involved with competitions with other top universities. Generally the students end up in the top three uh, in the nation. Wow, there's so many experiences here at Tech, but I think one of my best experiences I had here was having been able to study abroad in London for a week. Even though it was one week, it's just filled with so much experience. You learn so much knowing how other cultures, other countries work in your career for just being able to have that experience saying, yes, I did this, I went because of my school, and this taught me so much. The cybersecurity program includes an internship class that students can enroll in if they get a position in the field. It specifically gives the students an opportunity to work in the cybersecurity field as well as an opportunity to learn things that we just can't teach in the classroom. I think we learn from each other, you know, every day, every time we're in the classroom, every time we're interacting. Everyone comes from so many different backgrounds, so many different cultures, everyone is raised differently. It is an incredibly diverse uh, group of students, and across the board, you see a lot of charisma. A lot of the students, especially the really successful ones, are the ones that are able to communicate a message, and not just communicate it to other technical individuals, but they can relate well to those that aren't necessarily as computer savvy as or as technical and those that can bridge that gap and explain technical and complex concepts in very simple terms those are the ones that are going to be successful cybersecurity is such an upcoming field and to be a minority in both my race 
as Hispanic and my gender as a female going into a such a male dominant career it's just so empowering and that's what I wanted and I wanted something that I know that I can make a stance I can make a I guess a reflection some things that yeah this is me and I'm doing this because I can and because it's possible for women to be in STEM careers so that's why I chose cybersecurity. The cybersecurity field is growing tremendously today. The reason for that includes things such as everybody is online, everybody is texting, and everybody is subject to security and vulnerabilities. Something as simple as a email may be used in a court case and that will require expertise from a security expert to extract that information in such a way that it can be used in a court case. What makes me passionate about teaching would have to be the light bulb moment. That instance when you're working with a student, and whether it's a group of students or an individual, and you're able to share that idea, that expertise, that experience that you've had, and you see that sparkle come alive. 